Welcome to Frame Consulting Services. I'm Carl Frame, Principal of FCS. We've been serving the materials and ceramic industry since 1987. My background is in ceramics, metals, and materials in general. Um, I've been consulting since uh, 1987 to uh, industry. I have 50 years of experience uh, in the industrial area in consulting uh, and in educational service, so I have uh, a very wide range of experience. Uh, there are three basic areas that FCS is involved in, education and training, consulting to industry, and expert witness services. Uh, in this brief video, we're going to concentrate on our education and training services, um, which go back quite a long time. Um, there's a great need for training in industry, and it's a continuing need. I'm going to talk more about how far back that goes for me uh, in just a minute. Uh, but technology, as we all know, is changing extremely rapidly these days. Uh, and everyone needs to keep pace with that change, both personally and in business. It's particularly true in engineering, technology, product development, manufacturing, and education. So it's, it's something that needs to be addressed by every company and every person. Uh, so the need for continuing education is more acute, in my opinion, than it ever has been. And that's always been uh, something that uh, is uh, underestimated, I think, um, and uh, it's more important now than ever. I've been involved in vocational education and training for most of my pro professional career. Most of that has been uh, on a part-time basis. Uh, so I've been involved in business and industry. Uh, for those 50 years, and I've been involved in education for a good portion of that. Um, our scope of activities in the educational area include classroom courses uh, at the University of Kansas, ASM International, in the past at UCLA. Uh, we have online courses both at the University of Kansas and ASM International. We'll talk more about that uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, I've done special topic courses, mostly for ASM International, and we do in-house training courses as well. First of all, I'd like to give you just a bit of history about at least my involvement in this, in this field. Um, I was a co-founder of Ceramic Correspondence Institute in 1972, more than 40 years ago. Uh, and uh, that was designed to meet the training needs in the ceramic industry. The need at that time, and is still true, was very, very clear. I worked for a mini conglomerate ceramic company um, at that time, and we had manufacturing facilities all across the country. And what we observed in all of those, and what other companies observed as well in their operations, was that uh, although there might be one or two ceramic engineers at these manufacturing facilities, the uh, other people in the, in the companies, the technicians, the supervisors, the plant foremen, and so forth, had no, no real training, no formal training at all in ceramic technology. And as a result, uh, those manufacturing facilities were not well run because the people didn't have a training. And there was really no place to get it. Um, and we recognized that need in Southern California, where I was situated at the time, the American Ceramic Society. Uh, recognized the need in all of ceramic operations in the Los Angeles area, where I was, uh, and decided to put on uh, some training courses. Uh, and we, we started that in 1971 at Pasadena City College uh, in, the, in the classroom. Uh, the first class we had a few days after a major earthquake in Southern California had 70 students. We had to move to a larger room. So the need was actually very clear and it was real. Um, we developed uh, 10 courses on a correspondence basis. This is well before the Internet. So we, we had these uh, uh, typed up, quick printed, and we sold them uh, and shipped them via the Postal Service uh, as printed material in three ring binders. Uh, we developed 10 courses, uh, and CCI was wildly successful, far beyond our thoughts when we, we established it in 1972. We've been teaching this course in the classroom. Uh, we finally ran out of students after teaching courses, several courses. Uh, and so I had this brainstorm, why don't we do it on a correspondence basis? Uh, by 1987, we had served over 2,700 students in 40 countries. 
And we were just blown away by that. We had no expectation of that kind of response. Now, you have to keep in mind that we were all fully employed in the ceramic industry, uh, and uh, this was a sideline for us, and we were getting swamped. And so in 1987, we sold CCI, Ceramic Correspondence Institute, uh, to the American Ceramic Society for them to take over and develop. Uh, we started putting courses. I, I remained involved with ACS, uh, but the courses were put online starting in 2001. They hadn't been doing that, uh, and so I got involved with them again. We started putting these courses uh, online. Um, and in 2004, uh, the involvement of the American Ceramic Society ended, and the, the courses were switched over to ASM International, where they re remain to this day. Uh, these courses, of course, have been updated, most of them several times, and they're available now online from ASM International. We'll talk about that once again in just a second. Um, I've been teaching classroom courses in material science at University of Kansas. Um, there's a, a required course for mechanical engineers and a lot of other engineering uh, disciplines use this course as well. Uh, I've been teaching that typically three semesters a year since 2009. Uh, with a lot of students, so I typically now have 140 40 students uh, in a semester. Uh, I've also taught the Associated Laboratory course. I'll be teaching both of these courses again this coming fall. Uh, I broadcast uh, and record all the lectures using Adobe Connect, which is what I'm using to do this uh, short uh, lecture. Um, three courses were developed uh, and taught under grants to the University of Kansas from the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. And these were court material science courses uh, related to nuclear power um, and, and uh, of obvious importance to the nuclear uh, power generating industry and to the U.S. Navy. I've been doing classroom courses as well at ASM International. A picture on the right shows their dome, a uh, very famous structure uh, east of Cleveland. Uh, I've taught fundamentals of ceramic technology and refractory uh, technology at the Dome at the headquarters a number of times. I've also uh, taught the refractory technology in-house for a major refractory products manufacturer, uh, and I have taught specialty courses or course on advanced materials uh, for ASM uh, at the U.S. Uh, at a U.S. National Energy Technical Laboratory. I taught earlier ceramic processing uh, at UCLA. I have taught refractory courses at the Center for, for Professional Advancement from 1978 to 1987, and I was a course director for that course as well. I taught vocational ceramic technology courses, as I uh, mentioned just a few minutes ago, at Pasadena City College, and that was a precursor to the CI program in Southern California. I have a number of courses online. Um, ASM International uh, has 10, 10 of my courses. Uh, these are the listings, Fundamental Ceramic Technology, Refractory Technology, Ceramic Processing, Statistical Process Control for Ceramics and Glass, Glass Technology, Material Science for Industry, Glaze Technology and Art, Physical Properties of Ceramics, Ceramic Laboratory Procedures, and Electronic Ceramics. And these courses are all still available, and you can get links to those from the website. Um, there are a number of courses online at the University of Kansas uh, at Professional and Continuing Education site, uh, and these uh, uh, one of them is available now in, in additional course. Fundamentals of Material Science and Engineering is currently online. Corrosion and Degradation of Materials is going to be available soon. And Materials for Nuclear Energy Application and Corrosion and Degradation of Materials in Nuclear Energy Applications are recorded and ready to go online. You can go to this website uh, down here uh, if you want to get more information. Uh, and there's a third course also in the offing as well on um, the effects of irradiation on electronic materials and devices. We invite you to spend some time uh, at our website in all the areas that we offer services in. And there's a whole page or so on educational services. We've been serving the materials and ceramic industry since 1987. Uh, and we're very proud of the fact we offer the newest technologies with an uh, awful lot of uh, experience and some good old-fashioned hard work. Our contact information is uh, at the bottom of this page. Uh, and we thank you very much for taking this, your time to, to visit with us.